Hey, what's poppin' Real 16 TV? It's Cuz OP here. I'm just here with my guy. Solo four time, YTN. Uh -huh. A local rapper. And yeah, uh, I just, we just, I don't know. He he came to talk to me off the muscle, and I I, I fuck with bro off rip. This is hey, comfortable. Real recognized, real. You already know. Oh, God, I feel that. So, uh, just asking though, where you come from? Where you? Well, bro, I'm from Los Angeles, California. Shit, right. I grew up in uh, San Bernardino. Yeah, I know. Moved out this way around, shit. Sixth, seventh grade, something like that. I've been dug in here ever since, for real. Word, word, word. And uh, you came with two parent household, one parent household? Shit, nigga, you came from my mama, you know what I mean? Yeah, she, she my mama and my daddy. Yeah, word. Yeah, it'd be like that. Okay. And uh, how was your transition coming from there? Shit, it was, uh, to here. it was smooth, for real. I was an awkward little weird nigga, because I always felt I was different than other niggas, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I had a rack pants. <laughs> shit, uh, mm -hmm. But shit, nigga, it was cool. Once I got to know niggas around here, and my nigga Joe, you know, I started the YTN shit, so shit, uh, YTN Jody, that's my gang, it's my boy, you know what I mean, that shit. We're gonna talk about the rest of them niggas, cause I got some features with the other niggas, right. so I'm gonna do them separately. Okay. Joe don't rap or nothing, so, you know, that's just my guy. That's your guy, he's just part so, of the crew. Yeah. Uh, that being said, you said, would you say your friends when you got here was a big, uh, part of, you know what I'm saying, like helping you transition easy? For sure, for sure. Like, I used to run with a crowd that wasn't, uh, too good for me and shit. We was kicking dogs and shit, so you yeah, know, we had to it. had to chill out with that. And that's when I got with Joe. He was on more, you know, getting his education, getting to this money, you know, mm -hmm. the right way and shit. Way. So we started getting on that and shit. Uh, hey, you know right, I, mean? I feel that. And uh, that being said, uh, I know you're a rapper, so I'm just gonna ask. Back in the day, we're gonna go back a little bit when you were sure. in your mom's car and you were sitting in the back seat as a young kid. What music would you say would inspired you? Bro. You can ask, you can ask all the homies, nigga. We had the Lil Wayne CDs, nigga. We had bumped the whole one through 12, 15, whatever it was, nigga. Yeah. Uh, shit, we always, a lot of my homies, they from, uh, he from Dallas and shit. So it was just a lot of different, a lot of different vibes I was getting. Like I'm from Cali, but I don't sound like a Cali rapper, you feel me? Yeah, so it, I just got a lot of love for just music. If you talking about that good shit, you got mm -hmm. the real shit, I'm on it. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Don't Would you say you from. moving here had, uh, my fault though. Would you say you moving here had a lot to do with you sounding more like less like Cali? Yeah, because there's you know they, they got a deep ass accent over there. You you can yeah, tell when you talking mean? to a Cali nigga, but shit, it's it's good. It's better for me because uh, you know getting jobs and shit. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Being being able to talk and uh, pronunciate shit, and they being able to understand me helps a lot. You know what I mean? So shit. Hell yeah, I feel that. I feel that. So that being said, you got a little bit older. Who was you, who would you say your inspiration was when you got a little bit older? You you said you had a lot of. Different influences yeah. and that. Should I just like music in general? Like you can mm -hmm. play anybody. You know, what I mean, I didn't have a, like a, a preference till I got you know really hooping and shit. You know, what I mean, mm -hmm. and that's when niggas like I said, Wayne was always there. Shit, Gotti, mm -hmm. just like just different niggas. Gucci, mm -hmm. like, you know, what I mean, yeah, I hoop, bro. I went to Neosho County uh, for JUCO and shit. Played right. basketball, at Parsons High. Shit. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but you said that was your original passion, you thought you was going to be a player? Yeah, I thought I was going to hoop, bro. But shit, I broke my foot. <laughs> and then after that, it was, nigga was hungry. So it was either nigga, I'm a hoop and starve, or I'm going to get out here and I'm going to eat. Yeah. You and know, I got yeah. out here and ate, nigga, no, <laughs> no kids. I feel that, I feel that. That being said, what, what was it, what, what made you start rapping? Were you freestyling in oh, school? Bro, so all the homes, like, I was never the rapper, like, because I was always, like, I scared like. of the camera and shit when I was younger, so I didn't want to, like, be the center of attention. Mm -hmm. But I always, you know, when the homies, it was just me and the homies, we turning on the beats on YouTube, you know how I get on the computer, mm -hmm. and we just flowing. And That's all my homies rapped, like, you know, rap rap, you know what I mean? Got songs and shit way before me, I had to get, I had to find my, you know what I mean? I just didn't want to be like, oh, I'm rapping because the homies rapping. Like, I wanted to rap because I got something to talk about. Yeah, and I, I feel that. You have to mean? find your rhythm real Facts, quick. Facts, yeah. I'm not just going to be following the wave, you know what I mean? And so you, so basically you tried to, so you started rapping just to tell you a story. Was there, was there a sure. song that you had originally that you said described you? No, I, it was really, uh, I ain't even going to lie to you, bro. All my songs is like, they started off as freestyles. Like I'll be in here chilling, nigga, turn on a beat. Mm -hmm. And the hooks, nigga, the hooks come from, like the first thing I think of my mind when I'm smoking off the beat, and then I'll leave that hook, and then it's over. Then I'll repeat that, and then I'll the rest of it, and then off the top. So I shit, feel it's I feel just it. how I'm feeling at the moment. You know what I mean? Okay. So you'd say you 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 more just punch me in. You you don't yeah. really do well, so shit, much writing. I ain't gonna lie to you because I'm trying to I'm trying to be industry with this shit. I'm trying to be professional. So shit, I'm gonna write some shit. Don't get me wrong. I got a couple songs that you can tell that I wrote it. But you mm -hmm. got you know what I mean? 
But shit, I got a couple shit where you can hear me. I'm fucking up. I'm slurring. I'm stuttering. All that because that's off the top. I want you to feel the authentic. You know what I mean? That I'm real with it. You know what I mean? It sound real and make people understand that you're really trying to do it. For sure. <coughs> For sure. So, that being said, you said something about other people you rap with. Do you have anybody that you like, your choice collab? Oh, uh, for sure. Uh, off the top, my boy YTN DZ Kane. He, mm-hmm. like I said, he been rapping, rapping. He been on Apple Music, like, mm-hmm. for a minute, you know what I mean? Like, he was the first nigga we was listening to. Oh, uh, yeah. He, had some, yeah. he was making songs for the home team and stuff. So, man, he get trips to. And then uh, he was actually the one that pushed me to get in the studio and the nigga pump fake me said we was gonna go match and shit. <laughs> got in the car, he dropped, you know, he told me where to go. We pulled up, I get in the house and it's the studio. He was like, yeah, nigga, you rapping it. That's when uh, I got a song called Rent with the nigga on it on my album right. on Apple Music. And that's my the first song, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And that's a banger already, so. Send that to me so I can punch you in the description. For sure. And uh, that being said, you said <laughs> those are your friends and stuff like that you had during the process of them rapping and him getting you in there and stuff like that, have you been able to get uh, on the different Apple Music, Spotify, or you want Shit, bro, I really wanted to be, uh, I wanted to have some shit in storage before I, like, and I wanted to, you, you know, get the physical copy. What, what you, you trying to get a physical copy and sell it? Of, uh, like a, like a, uh, a CD? No, I wouldn't do that, because uh, that's out the, niggas yeah. not doing that. Like, that yeah, ain't no money no more, you know what I mean? Back in the day, yeah, let me get you these copies on the USB, put your shit on there. So shit, I am on Apple Music and everything now, so I'm getting, and I'm getting paid too from it. It's not like, it's legit when you, oh, you, yeah, know, when you get good. legit. And all my shit is me, bro, 100% me. My okay. songs, my beats, nigga, the lyrics, ain't nobody writing for me, nigga. That shit coming from me, nigga. Okay. I'm getting everything that's coming back from this. And you know, you gotta wait a little minute, you feel me? It's not gonna pop off this year. Mm-hmm. Might not pop off next year. Mm-hmm. But okay, y'all gonna, hey, this interview, niggas gonna come back to this, like, you know what I mean? Like, I was here first. You know how niggas be on the comments? Yeah, that's uh-huh. old boy. Oh God, I feel that. I so feel my mom. And confidence is the biggest key to uh, being a rapper. Bro, and it's because of the shows that I done did, bro. Like, yeah. I, like I used to tell my girl, bro, I was like, shit, uh, one day when we drive to Colorado, nigga, I'm gonna have a whole tape that we can listen to. Like, nigga, I ain't gonna have to just, oh, go to SoundCloud play this, then go to my files and play this, play this. Like, nigga, I'm gonna be on, I'm gonna be, you know, real with it. For real. Nigga, now I go to Apple Music, play them, nigga, go to SoundCloud, got the unreleased on there, you know what I mean? So shit. I feel that. That's how it be. And uh, would you say, since you, now that you got album, what album would be your choice album to play for, like, we on the car? Well, shit, I only got one album out right now. I got some shit. It's all my unreleased shit, bro. It's the shit that I really be fucking with. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just, I want my album to marinate a little bit, so I don't want to over, you know, drop this, drop this, drop that. Cause you know, I want y'all to, you know, feel that. And then um, mm-hmm. as we progress into the year and shit, I'm gonna drop a couple more EPs and a couple singles, but I really need this music video to, you know, to get edited and popped off and shit. So, mm-hmm. and then after that, we're gonna transition it in. But I don't want to go too fast, but I ain't trying to go too slow either. Cause I see the homies out here dropping heat. So I ain't trying to step on no toes. You get your money, I'm gonna get my money, get I my view, straight like that. I'm mm-hmm. gonna do it like a collective and stuff. Mm-hmm. Cause one of my homies, his name Mavenu, he on the tape too. Y'all niggas go fuck with him. That nigga's hard. Mm-hmm. My mom. Oh God, I feel Shit. that. <coughs> that being said too, uh, you said that, hold on real quick. Shit, yo. So basically, uh, you said you rapped with your homie Avenue and stuff, and you've been on stage a lot of times. Uh, I'm just curious. When you've been on stage, how was the feeling the first time you was rapping on stage? And were your friends with you? Was Avenue or DZ Kane or anyone? Yeah, you? shit, Mavenue was with me uh, at the first one. It's Mavenue? Mavenue, yeah. Okay, okay. With shit, uh, he was with me. We performed section and uh, shit, the next one is just called Bars. We just got on that bitch, started talking our mm-hmm. shit. And, then, and uh, that gave me a lot of confidence because I was scared. Like I said, I don't like being the center of attention until that day. And then I was like, nigga. I could really do this shit. Mm-hmm. So fast forward, I did a show in Springfield. That was all right. But then I did the shit for Tech Nine or whatever mm-hmm. in front of Tech With Mike too? Yeah. And uh, that shit really, even though the crowd was weak, there was still people in line, but mm-hmm. shit, my songs hit. So, you know, niggas people popping their heads, you know what I mean? Just giving me more confidence and I really feel like I can do this shit. Did you get a chance to speak with Tech Nine while you were there? Shit, I didn't because the heat was busting. But I ain't gonna make no excuses, shit. He wasn't on that, so shit, I ain't finna go beg or nothing, you know what I mean? Yeah. My, the right opportunity gonna come to me, you know yeah. what I mean? I feel that. If you could rap for any uh, company with Strange Music would be one of them, or would you do like 300? Or- oh, nigga, it's, oh, bro, it's crazy. I be telling about shit, this already got a list, nigga. You know it's 1017, nigga. Mm, then, that's where you wanna go? Like I said, Gotti, he give a nigga 750K just on the table. Shit, nigga, I'll tell you, you know what I mean? 
So yeah. Gotti would be second, then uh, Lil Baby Nil. So mm -hmm. there's some niggas that, and actually, bro, Funk Flex too, he and that, cause nigga, yeah, he, like his, uh, his team in my DMs too, talk, you know what I mean? So I ain't oh, gonna say too much. Oh, you talk to Funk Flex? I ain't even gonna speak on, you know what I mean? We just gonna right. see what the Lord got for me. I ain't gonna have, I, I ain't gonna you. boost, I ain't gonna cap. I'm gonna just, uh, just know, solo full time and this bitch doing this duggy. Oh God. Do you have any uh, freestyles that people can, people went to go check out that like got you some highlights or will you say a lot of your messages come through your DMs? Shit, it's really everywhere, bro. I be I DM these niggas. When I drop that tape, bro, those mm -hmm. people that I just listened to, you, little baby, all them, I DM them, my mm -hmm. shit, everybody. Okay. I was like, hey, bro, go fuck, because you never know. They might be one night just scrolling through their Instagram DMs, yeah, see it. my shit, click on it, think one of my songs is hard, money mm -hmm. right there, boom, I want to sign this nigga. Oh, God, and it could be your day, too. Oh, God. You think it's coming? I feel it in my stomach, bro. On my bone. Hey, I feel you too. It'd be like that if you're doing like greatness etched in your bones sometimes. It's coming, I, like it's coming, bro. The Lord with me, and I saw that. Shit, confidence is key, like a motherfucker. <clears throat> so now you've been rapping on stage a few times. You said you did it one, two times. What would be your next goal? Would it be to get you a YouTube page started? Where Shit, you could I just your started the YouTube, bro. Uh, okay. But I ain't like I'ma just be dropping like a. Uh, Freestyle. These, mm -hmm. these niggas say they freestyle because I have pen and paper in front of me, nigga. Freestyle. Bro, you play the beat, I'm a rap in front of the camera, I'm a mm -hmm. post. The real off the top. No, oh, I wrote this and then I'm gonna say it on the camera and mm -hmm. just memorize it. No, nigga, this is coming off the top. That's cool. Right. So I'm gonna do that. I agree with that. I seen a thing a long time ago. It said freestyles, though, are like something that you never rapped before. So even, even if they wrote it down like, all right, the game, if you look at the game freestyle, you'll notice that he does the same freestyle in every in every right. interview he has. Just like Big like Bill, he can't freestyle. <laughs> yeah, they be faking it. Like, uh, uh. They say it's more like pulling out your ass when you like, not in like a fucked up way, it's more like pulling out your ass. You can be good at it though. Oh God, there you are some niggas that is, they cold with it. Like DZ Kane, bro, that niggas freestyles be harder than right. his songs. So I'm like, bro, what you be on when you be rocking like niggas? Bro, you didn't get me in touch with him, we can do it all oh, right. bro. We do a club or maybe maybe the whole YTM movement. Oh man, that, that, that would be, bro, that would be lit. But you know niggas got their own shit moving next week. Right. Hey. Hey. It's just like SOB and all them though. Yeah. They, we do our own bro. specific thing. Gosh, bro, bro. And then we still be a collective. That's kinda like what we do too. We got like the loud pack collective. So most of us is rappers. Facts. And then I I do YouTube, but I'm a rapper too. Shit, and then everybody got too, you know. Yeah, so we can make something happen. I just got hey, I just got cool with Mike. So I'll be up in there, man. I'm telling you. Hey, hey, listen. If I don't know you, nigga, it's 150 a feature. Hey, but if it's love like this, nigga, I'll hop on your beat for free, nigga. Just off Shoot. the muscle. Yeah, we can make it happen. I, I, hey, I'll just do it off the muscle. I don't even rap like that no more. I got you. But shit, hopefully, hopefully we get some more of these in too. But that being said, uh, you said you charge for uh, features and stuff like that. Yeah, bro, you I charge 150, bro. Niggas got a pro. My features go harder than some of my old songs. They got me surprised at myself, bro. I'm like, damn, they got me that hard. Like, I'll play it back. Mm -hmm. Like, I got this track called Gangsta Lady with uh, Robbie from, he from Joplin, uh, shit, Memorial, Red Shoes. That might crack the seal with Jay do the, with, uh, man, me and my nigga, I just be going dumb, bro. So what? niggas gotta pay for that, bro. Like, okay. hey, it's shit. Hey. I feel that shit, I feel that shit. Have you uh have you rapped, have you rapped with a big homie Kwan or any of them people yet? I'm just I, I know them niggas and I work his shit is hard, bro. He got that raw hey, way feel rocking like he would go on the hook and they got slammed it, bro. I'm telling you, be yeah, that nigga going. Some shit. I just did uh, his interview too. I definitely link out for some music and Facts, stuff like yeah. that. He go he go hard and stuff like that. And I hear him on Mikey shit all the time, bro. Nigga, they got some shit that I just be trying to feature on. Every time I hear the two niggas, I'm like, bro, let me punch it on this real quick. Hey, I'm hard yeah, slap, yeah, like, be, like let me get my little. <laughs> That being said, they they hella slap and stuff like that, but uh, oh shit, bro, you could, bro, you know, I wasn't trying to face and shit, but I'm falling. Yeah, you straight, bro, you behind the camera. Hey, bro. That being said and stuff like that, um, what was I getting at? Hold on, people, you know, it take me a second. Yeah, so niggas, okay, hey, you already know. Faded and stuff like that, but uh, I believe what I was getting into and stuff like that was uh, since since selling features and stuff like that, would you say that it's your merchandise? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, look, we're going to actually cut what I was saying. We're going to go into what that is. I want to show your merchandise one more time with the people shit, see yeah. it. Yeah, let me, let me go ahead and tuck the chain here for you. But shit, this the YT is shit. I only really, really be letting my niggas grab this. I got the jogger set too, you feel me? Uh, why, we ain't, I don't know when we going to drop that shit, but this really just for my niggas, just some gear for us to rock, you know, uh, for some music videos and shit. 
but I do got a clothing brand that's coming out called Four Layers. You feel me? That's gonna be able for you to pre-order all that because y'all be capping. Oh, I'm gonna grab it. Oh, I'm gonna grab it. Mm -hmm. So pre-order it, get it. Did Thirty see? days go by. I'm gonna drop all the orders because but I need your cheese first because. Hey. For real. Did you see merchandise is actually becoming part of album sales? Bro. Did you see that? Yes. Bro. That's just crazy. So you gotta have all your. Bro, there's some. Bro, attack. there's some. That's how I know that, bro. There's some keys that you need to know, bro, about this rapping shit that a lot of niggas don't know. That's why they ain't gonna never make no money. For real, you gotta know the secret. And if you know, uh, have you ever heard, of, there's a book called uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and the book, the girl goes, basically, she's like, hey, how come I don't sell a whole bunch of books? I went to school for writing books, all that, four years and stuff like that. He was like, oh, you need to go to school for marketing. She said, that's stupid. Dude was like, hey, well, my book doesn't say best written book. Yours be the best written. Mine says best sold book. I sold them, so you got it. up. It don't matter how good you have rapping or YouTube if you can't sell this shit. You got to get it out of the world, bro. True. Social media is just a, a free platform, nigga, for you to, bro. You know what I mean? Just like little Baby can hit me up right now on my phone okay. with no middleman, you know what I mean? With no middleman. That's facts. And th that's easy. It, that shows how much today's time has changed. Do you feel like it... If you were a rapper in the old days, you feel like it took you a lot more uh, hard work to get to it? No, nah, I don't feel like, bro, our generation, we made music like what what music is. Like, like our parents and shit, they was bumping music, but it, they wasn't bumping. You know, we, I'm from Cali, so no Cali niggas was bumping no East Coast niggas. Shit. Never. Here, nigga, hey, I just went to Cali, heard uh, Mike Badon, he from <laughs> fucking Tulsa in yeah. motherfucking Cali, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying. Uh, this is crazy. So worldwide, you know what I mean? I'm trying to get worldwide. And I know like niggas around here don't even be fucking with my shit like that. From Parsons to Pittsburgh, they don't fuck with my shit. Mm -hmm. Where you get where you say the most niggas, the niggas in Detroit, like you go on SoundCloud to show you the location. Yeah. Uh, Detroit, Chicago, Cali, that type of shit. Texas mm -hmm. be my motherfucking biggest. Missouri, bro, he they're up there because the niggas in Joplin and shit, they fuck with me for some reason. Yeah. They feel Niggas know that I'm talking that shit, but oh it's a lot of competition where I'm from. So niggas ain't I ain't finna bump this nigga shit, but I'm gonna bump. I feel that. Not me. So. I feel that. Would you say there's any rappers that you would, would say besides you guys that's popping in y'all area? Oh, nigga, uh, I'm always give credit. You feel me? Shit, uh, Young Sauce, that little nigga, he doing this shit. He be, he, shit, he, he, he from, from Pittsburgh. Oh, he really from Pittsburgh, but you know, he be doing stuff. Uh, that little nigga be R uh, R and O Honcho. Yeah, she a girl. You feel me? Yeah, I know but, that is. Bro, she be slapping on her. That's the, bro. You, you go here and be in her shit. And that I think that's the one that's gonna put us both over. Hey, okay. talking about best selling her shit. It's not like the product ain't good because her product slap, but she definitely. She definitely pushed her product on my mama. On my mama. Because I know this. And she's giving away cash giveaways. Hey, yeah, matter of fact, I'm going to shout her out. Y'all go fuck with that, man. She said you uh, you, you slide up on her shit, bro. She'll give you up. She's giving away 150 yeah, uh, cash giveaways. Right. Straight up. Uh, once she get 1,000 views on her music video. Hey, that's free cheese. You feel me? I watch that bitch every day, nigga. Oh, it's on my I'll bottle. I'll double click me. Oh, God. She go hard. Anybody else? Shit. Uh, my nigga Mavenue. That nigga finna drop his tape. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's called Conceitment, but I ain't even going, that ain't my drop, so I ain't going to speak too much on it, but like I said, my niggas be going, y'all, them three niggas I just listed, go tap in with them niggas, okay. I'm telling you, you ain't going to be disappointed. Okay, so what's your, what's your next projects then, what's your next idea, what's Bro, your... I got a lot of shit, bro, I just be making music, bro, so, uh, you doing an I got LP some, I got or an album next? I got an EP, scene? bro, called, uh, what, Off the, or Out of the Perimeter. Bro, I got some shit, bro. I got some shit. I just can't even say too much because niggas is gonna be mad at me. I got. I'm gonna drop all these features that I got first before mm -hmm. I focus on me. Cause like I said, the homie finna drop his tape, so I'm gonna just do features. Mm -hmm. But shit, bro. Uh, before the year end, yeah, I'm gonna drop a, a, another EP, bro. I already got the cover art and everything. I'll be posting it. I'll send it to you so you yes, can slap that bitch right there. I will. You know I will. Oh, what's God. your What's your biggest goal coming up, too, bro? Well, I'm finna have a, a child in September, bro. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but shit. Uh, and my dad just died, bro, last month. So, nigga, my biggest goal, bro, is to be a father, bro. Like, a father in the life. Not no part-time. Nigga, not gonna let me come pick my nigga up. Nigga, I'm here. I'm taking him. What I want, where we go, we come back. You know what I mean? I feel so, shit, I'm gonna raise it. So, I'm gonna raise a man. If, if not, I'm raising a, a female. And she's standing on all ten. She ain't no, oh, we finna play her. She getting in niggas' pockets. If that's the case, you feel me? You yeah, niggas better be prepared. Fucking with me and my daughter. You feel me? Oh, God. I know that's a big deal. You feel like that's gonna change your work ethic? Bro, it already has, nigga. 
items on live TV, nigga. That's all I think about, nigga. I be at work. Nigga, you know you be at work sometimes, nigga, ready to quit. For real, nigga, that bullshit, nigga, nigga, ready to walk out. But nigga, I be thinking like, nigga, I'm not. It's not just me no more, nigga. You know what I mean? Like I got somebody coming that I gotta worry about that I'm already worried about. I don't even know what they look like. I don't even know if it's a boy or a girl. Like I said, bro. So shit. That's just it. Just bro, I've been pushing, bro. But I've always had a better work ethic than most niggas. You feel me? I just wanted more. Even though I ain't come from, I ain't come from shit. But nigga, I always knew that in the back of my mind and my heart, nigga, that I was a rich nigga. Maybe in a past life or whatever. But nigga, I feel like not just cat nigga, rich nigga. Like nigga, I go get this, go grab that. I'm in Paris. I'm here. You're like nigga, I was that type of rich nigga. Yeah, like, and nigga, I feel like this rapping shit, bro. It's slowly but surely the wheels is turning, nigga. This this train finna take off, bro. Uh -huh. That being said, you have such a, a good motivation for what you want to do. When you were a kid, what was, what was a moment that happened to you when you were younger that like it might be funny, it might be exciting, where you knew like I got I can't turn back, I gotta go hard. Shit, like our like I said, bro. I used to like I didn't really take rap seriously. Are you mm -hmm. talking about like in just general, like in general. like with motivation? Shit, inspiring people, bro. Nigga, that'll come from my mama. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I saw this lady, bro. Nigga, wake up, nigga, 4 5 a.m. Nigga, did get home. Well, she, nigga, she'd take a break from work to come cook me dinner before I got out of practice. Nigga, did go back to work. Nigga, I didn't see her till I got ready to lay my head. Nigga, I was, nigga, and I, that used to, like, I had envy toward my father, because, nigga, you got my mama working like this, nigga. But, nigga, that also gave me the power, like, nigga, this lady can go, nigga, all these hours working, nigga, Monday through motherfucking Saturday, nigga, you know what I mean? I can do it too. On my mama, I can. So I'm grind just like she did, harder. I feel that. I feel that. That being said, you said when you were younger, you were kind of a mischievous kid just to get into a fun area. I like to ask people, what's a fun story that you remember from your child that like flashes into your brain, or from whatever age, from little to all Shit, the way like to a, twelve. Bro, like I ain't gonna lie to you, I put a lot of niggas on me and my nigga Joe, bro. Nigga, our freshman year, nigga, my mom, I always had a car because, like, my mom taught me drive, mm -hmm. nigga, way early, nigga. Uh, so me and him slid to the vibe, bro. That should be our shit. We be in the vibe Friday and Saturday nights. Y'all niggas know what's up yeah, with that. I nigga, stand till 2 a.m. because, mm -hmm. nigga, we got the, and my brother had, gave us the wristbands and shit. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? Stay. My nigga. The shootout, nigga. Mm -hmm. You know, we wasn't, we ain't on that tip, nigga. We ain't had no Glocks on us, niggas out there busting and shit. Me and this nigga, nigga, all you hear is, Phew. <laughs> nigga, we getting up in my whip, nigga, we laying down in the back, nigga, he on the seat, nigga, I'm on the floor, you know, all hush and shit. Bro, until my cousin came over there and knocked on the window, said it's all clear, nigga, that shit was... That's the one that, that made shit it closed blew. down, ain't it? Nick, on my mama, nigga, but yeah. then, like, somebody bought it, reopened it, but then it yeah. closed. Yeah, they that was the first time it closed. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that shit is crazy. I remember, I remember hearing stories, because I believe the homie Keenan was there, and he took off running. That shit crazy. You, a lot of have you heard of, uh, just to bring my homie over and put him here, the LPO dog? LPO dog. Did he, did he, has he tried to rap with you? Nah, I, 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 you know what I mean? I don't. I was just curious because I was like, yeah, big homie Quan and all that, we kind of in the range. He probably yeah. rapped on stage with you before. Shit, I probably didn't even, you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel that shit. It'd be like that. But not even to get into that business, that's an interesting story from But I love, I would love to network, you know what I mean? So shit, yeah, bro, I'll get you hear my shit, you think I'm hard, you know, send me some shit in the day. Oh God, I'll get you connected. Right. Yeah, if you go check my YouTube, he on there doing an interview too. Right. He like my first one, he from oh, the Bahamas. Okay, yeah. He from the Bahamas, so he got like a little well, I just got some Bahama food yesterday. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, you got it from them. Which one was he, bro? What he? What he yeah, got? he had the jazz, the tall one. Oh, that, okay, that I didn't see him, bro. I seen the. Uh, you seen Tevin? Tevin, and, all. and then the, the two dudes yeah. at the fade. That's, yeah. that's them. That's okay. the homies and stuff like that. So he, oh dog, he rapped though, but he wanted people serving that food too. For sure, yeah. Yeah, that shit was hit. Y'all tap in with them, nigga. You want some good to eat? Okay. I, I, I went and got two plates. They got drove, nigga. Came back, nigga. Ate, nigga. Drove back, nigga. Got it. Came back. Oh my god, the niggas is fire too. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get you connected with them though. We're gonna, hey, really, it's a small world. It's crazy how like oh we hear how many people we know and stuff like that. But I ain't even gonna hold you too long. I just gotta ask, uh, is there anybody else you wanna shout out or anybody that you would love to talk about? Shit, dedicate something to anything. Damn, that man put me on the spot, you know what I mean? I really tried to do that throughout the, uh, you know, throughout yeah, the interview, but did. shit. I'm gonna really shout out myself, man. Y'all really uh, tap in with me, bro. Shit, y'all, if y'all be my fans right now before the fame, bro, I'm telling y'all, nigga, I'm gonna I'm show love, nigga. No, personally, like, if you know, you, you 
reposting my shit, nigga, and I make it, nigga, personally, we gonna fly, nigga, we, nigga, we locked in, no cap. Mm -hmm. If you lock in with me right now, nigga, we gonna lock in later, for sure. It ain't no, all oh, fuck them niggas that, nah, we, we locked in for life, nigga, you with me, hey, we forever, you feel me? YT in the game, y'all niggas, hey, <laughs> straight up. Oh my God, you said I ain't never changing. Hey, you know, like, subscribe, and uh, follow me, you know what I'm saying, turn your notifications on. Hey, please continue to check out bro's uh, music and everything else he's doing. Get you some y YTM wear once he got it going. Man. I'm pretty sure. Y'all go get that, man. <laughs> we'll really lick up when he gets it popping. I was pop fucking up the size and shit, nigga. 43rd, you know what I mean? Oh, God. But that being said, uh, when he gets some YTM stuff, we're going to come back and we're going to talk about it. Oh, that way yeah. we can make sure the people see what we're I'm going to drop links and shit under the, uh, the comments and all that for y'all niggas to go fuck with me. Hell yeah, for please sure. do that. That helps everything. For sure. Like I'm talking about on the video, I'm going to go on my own profile. I'm going to drop on there. Y'all can fuck with my profile too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go check him out for sure. That was Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud, nigga, whatever you need. You want the unreleased? I'm on SoundCloud every day. Should I? You want the albums, that pure shit, trying to get industry? I'm on Apple Music, Spotify. You feel me? Oh God, I'm gonna like, put all that shit in the description. Send me I, every. I take that. all critiques too, nigga. So hit my DMs, nigga. You feel like I could do this, nigga? You feel like I could uh, cut this, stop doing this, nigga? Run it back, whatever you need, bro. Let me know, nigga. I love, nigga. This shit is meant for me, nigga. We could really interact, nigga. Really get together. You know what I mean? But features 150. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to pay that man. So please like, subscribe, and share. Do the same with him. Turn your notifications on. Continue to Bing. fuck with me. Bye.